the only thing about the Bible, because we know what's happened to it. I mean, we've studied it, we've looked at it for years, you know, collecting information. Uh, it was years and years ago, there was a preacher that told me that there wasn't nothing spiritual about the aspect of how the Bible got put together. It was, uh, they voted on it. Absolutely. That didn't sound as magical and mystical as, as I wanted it to at that time, I guess. Yeah, you know, because, hey, that was the Bible was supposed to be God's Word. Well, that's what I was told my whole life, and I figured the people that were telling me knew better than I did until I looked at it, until I got involved in it. The best thing about it, though, is that it does, regardless of what I was saying, is regardless of what happens or what has happened to the Bible, the story of redemption is in it still, as far as it leads to Jesus Christ. But even what it says about Jesus Christ in it has been worked and reworked. Yeah, and we don't, we right. don't know what, what's what and who's who. So that's why I believe he sent the Holy Spirit so that we could have the discernment that we need to weed out, especially in these days and times, the BS that we have to wade through. All I can say is what we've got to say isn't what people are used to. Well... I think our point is that we're not pushing religion on you. And right. Fact, we're telling you to drop it. Yeah. What we're trying to push on you and convince you of is spirituality. Yeah. And that you may find God in the Bible, but the Bible ain't God. And you may not find evidence. We're talking written, a book. Right. You may not find any written evidence for God outside the Bible. You may not. You, what written you may find evidence for claim for another god or you know Vishnu or whoever okay the point is I can see God in everything so that's the uh, I can't prove that's who did it but that's the way I interpret that that's my evidence to believe in a higher power yeah it's too perfect not to have been however the rest of that stuff is man and it was trying to answer kids questions when we didn't have a clue how to answer them. Right. Well, for me, the connection to the source, our source, our life source, our, is found in one place, and that place is within. And that's completely spiritual. That's what Jesus taught. That's what he showed by going off and pray by himself numerous times. The fasting, the prayer, the supernatural hands-on work and things that, that took place. That stemmed from shamanism which does not disagree with any real faith out there. In fact, I know that I was told in the church that it was up to me to connect with the source. And it's taught, but it's not enforced. I don't want to use that word. It's not encouraged enough. It's not, it's not taught properly. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that if people are coming and looking for the same old thing that, well, that, that's why that makes that's why we're getting that makes them comfortable, yeah, we're, then I they mean, need to go elsewhere. Yeah, well, if that's what you're looking for, how, how did you stumble in here? Yeah, because and there's too many places for you to find what it is that you seek that makes you comfortable. I don't want to call well, nobody I'm names say, or anything, but it. there's the me. Yeah. I'm not. This thing that y'all are thumping is not reliable. Nope. And, and if we would get that off of our page and try to go within and talk to the Holy Spirit, you don't even have to call it Holy Spirit if you want to. Yeah, I want you to get rid of religion here. The day I lost my religion, you were there. Literally, I saw a door close over a room while we were sitting in the church with all the religious symbols on it. I'm so thrilled because it's allowed me to look in directions and listen to things that I probably wouldn't have allowed myself to before. Well, that's, that's the point. That's everybody's point. Yeah. They're afraid. How is it we fear because we don't know it? And well, that's all be, the spirit be, done, no. And we've seen what the world has to offer. And we're told that the one who created us and loves us, well, you know, if we screw up, we're going to hell. And I've never been able to buy that concept Deep down within me, the very core of me has never been able to understand how God that made me and loves me enough and coaxed me along and toasts me for some infractions. 